Om Shanti and good morning. Welcome back. We are doing the recording of yesterday's, that is, 8th of October's Godly Blessing. The complete season time has been very keeping us very busy, and uh, the Shira is still going on. Today is hopefully the last day in Darjeeling for the Shira celebrations, and everybody's enjoyed a lot. And now it's time to get back to work. So let's start with yesterday's blessing. God says over here, May you experience God's love by being detached from waves of sorrow and become filled with the treasure of happiness. Now condition is God's love. How to extract God's love, infinite God's love, is what we're going to touch. God says at the time of the confluence age, many things that bring waves of sorrow will become, will come in front of you. But do not let those waves of sorrow make you internally unhappy. Now these waves of sorrow can be in five aspects. Financial, mental, emotional, physical, relationships. Now these things can come. And obviously spiritual, which is encompassing all of them. So God says, those waves of sorrow make you internally unhappy. Do not let that happen. That they make you unhappy. In the hot season, it will be hot, but it is up to you to protect yourself. So while hearing of things of sorrow, do not let them affect your heart. That means you should not have any impure feelings towards anybody. Make your decisions. Be firm. Be strong. But don't let it affect your heart. That means don't have any kind of impure, negative, hateful or any kind of negative feelings towards anybody of disdain, of discontentment or any kind of nudging which is going to happen every time you think about that person. Now that nudging can happen in your mind, can happen in your heart. But here God is talking about your heart. That means no soul shall or no situation shall control your feelings. God then says, so while hearing of things of sorrow, don't let them affect your heart. When you are detached from these waves of sorrow, you will be loved by God. Forget about human beings. You will be loved by God. Those who are detached and loving to God can be filled with the treasures of happiness. So the two things over here. Taking no sorrow from anybody. No conditions. Infinity. And second thing. That love for God and not for things and people. That is what is going to get us love from God. So those who are detached and loving to God, detached from worldly things, from people, and loving to God, that means no expectations from others, and not getting into any kind of situations where expectations arise, those things are going to let you be detached. No boja, no kind of heaviness, because futuristic expectations are also a form of boja. That if I do this, this will happen to me. If I did that, that will happen to me. No. And having and loving to God can be filled with the treasure of happiness. Now these conditions are very important. How to be detached is what we learn at Brahma Kumaris. It's a process. It's not a one day process, but it takes time. How to slowly, slowly get detached. How to make wiser decisions. How to make long term decisions by becoming three Kal Darshi. Three Kal Darshi means knowing the three aspects of time. Of what can happen in the future if you take the decision right now. That is what makes you to the Kal Darshi. If I take this decision right now and if I've got certain hopes and expectations, what should I expect in the future? Also depends right now. So being Three Kal Darshi, making a decision is very important. All this is taught at Brahma Kumaris. Three Kal Darshi, three aspects of time. What is the situation of souls? how to relate to them, how to connect with them, what level to connect with them so that your happiness doesn't go. If you have high expectations from people and things and situations, then sorrow will come, unhappiness shall come or dwell into your heart. So how that should not happen, what steps you need to take right now so that it doesn't happen is also taught through Brahma Kumaris. It's pure wisdom. With this, Om Shanti.